Should be right next to. Huh. I thought the bar where we were meeting our contact was right here, but. According to my records, this is the correct stop on the L. So, exactly how old are your records? They were last updated 12 years ago. Oh, they see the problem now. We need to find the Badlands Bar and Grill. I suggest we spread out to cover more ground, but please, pair up. For your safety. Sol and Ophelia should be fine babysitting girl for the evening, but the sooner we're back on the bus, the better. Wait, are you suggesting we use the... Buddy system. Yes. Dude, we're not six. It's a proven system. If it works for children, it'll probably work. Do not finish that sentence. Anyway, let's pair up. No one's pairing up with anyone. Eli, you're with me. Right on, you and me. We'll figure this city out in no time. So why is the train system called the L? Just one letter for the whole thing? And where do we buy hot dogs and deepish pizza? Why is this the windy city? I can't even feel a breeze. Eli, you ask the real questions. This place is wild. We don't get cities like this out west. At least not in the Republic. Maybe in Pacifica. You guys lived in San Francisco, right? Did you like it there? I wish Sai could have gotten to see this. I mean, she's a city girl, right? She probably would have loved this. And maybe we could have settled our differences about O staying with the crew. I hated it. It was hard to make ends meet. Especially as an undocumented immigrant. I had to rely on small cons and hustles to put food on the table. It was grim sometimes. But at least I had friends to lean on. I wonder how Sai felt about it. She also sounded happy to be out. But man, if I ever decide to stop writing, I'd like to live in the city. There's so much energy here. Wake up, sheep. The end is coming. The disciples of doom walk among us. Do the research. Don't trust anyone. That guy? He's a shout man. You think we could try to bring him on board? There's always room for more, right? Of our great nation. We shall be friends of all in pure thought, supported by force. What? What am I saying? It's all just... Lies. The world's not ending. Canada isn't trying to corrupt us. Canadians are nice people. Can't sleep, can't eat, can't think, can't brush my teeth, or shower, or take a shit. Uh, no. Why did I think they were out to this get me? That's just paranoid. Not everything's about me. Do you follow the news, Eli? I never have. I don't know what they're talking about. He could. If it means getting rid of the president, Lord, I'm all for it. Like you've ever voted in your life. Will you dumb fuck shut up and change the channel already? The game's about to start, and I've got money. The fuck you looking at? Trying to get in my head. Trying to pollute my mind. Was I thinking? No one's stealing my thoughts. That's crazy. Look, I'm sorry, I, I'm just having a bad day. Do you follow the news, Eli? I never have. I don't know what they're talking about. If it means getting rid of President Ward, I'm all for it. trying to make a living selling music here. My own stuff and uh, other things. I make killer mixtapes. This tape's got it all, man. Death metal, rap, spoken word. What are you hawking? Mixtapes, man. 
handcrafted right here in Chicago. Assembled with love from... You have no idea what a mixtape is, do you? Imagine a giant collage, a tapestry of colors, forming vast patterns on a wall in front of you. But instead of paint, it's sound. And then take all of that and cram it onto an e-cassette. Punk, rock, rap, spoken word, classical, K-pop. Haven't had one dissatisfied customer yet. And you get to stick it to justice. So, get you one for your friend too? How much for the mixtape? 20 buckaroos. Okay, you're obviously a woman of fine tastes and I love your whole look. 10 bucks. Eight? We don't have cash. You trying to waste my time, lady? Shit. You got something to trade for? You want my mixtape or what? Did you say K-pop? Shh. You know there are import restrictions. You don't want justice confiscating these oral treasures. But yeah, my mix includes tracks from PVC Craze, Out of the Careers. It's a fresh sound. Not for everyone, but real aficionados will love it. Stock's running low. This is a special offer and a real collector's item. Sorry, all I have are the clothes I'm wearing. Well, then... No. Maybe next time. Yeah, okay. Tell your friends. Best look out for the cops, lady. Hey, uh... We know what you are, and... We... Lady, just keep walking. I don't want any trouble. We're not trying to cause trouble. We, uh, we know because... I'm the same. I know some special words. Shit. You shouldn't be talking about this out in the open. Justice got ears, you know. But, yeah. My slam poetry has some real slam to it. You feel me? Me and my friends, we're leaving the city tonight. Friends, as in compatriots. Equally talented individuals seeking a new life elsewhere. Safe from... from this. No, oh, I'm good. You're good? You don't pay me to leave. Man, I grew up here. My people are here. I can't go nowhere else. And it's not like I'll be safe or anywhere else. Folks like us, we're hunted wherever we go. Better to stay put and fight for what we have than run forever. You know? But thanks for the invite. Us... Deviants. Gotta look out for our own. Peace and love, lady. And hey, take the mixtape. The gift. From one freak to another. Best look out for the cops, lady. They're everywhere. And you folks speak to us. Got no station. To call my own. Hey, no you're uh, Henry, right? I recently met a Betty, and she wanted you to have this. She misses you. Uh, I... Betty down the street doesn't even recognize me. What does that tell you? No. Give it to another Henry. One more deserving of her love. Take it, please. All right, if you insist. But next time you see Betty, please give her this from me. It's a song I wrote. She should know the truth of her Henry, how far he's fallen. But don't give it to that Betty down the street. She wants nothing to do with me. Hello, Henry. Oh, don't talk to me. I don't even deserve the name, seeing as I have no standard energy station to call my own anymore. They shut it down and told me to scram. Just leave me to my misery, please. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. 
everywhere. They're walking. And it means they've got eyes in the against disorder. Wait, walk That's not true. Be a hero. The machines are okay. We control the machines. They don't control us. I need Remember a drink. Your ABC. Always be cautious. Eyes open. Do you know that Henry back there? That weird loser who keeps bothering me? No thanks, hon. He's like totally obsessed with me. I can't blame him, but like chill, do you know what I mean? Anyway, welcome to Betty's 2.0. We're talking a whole new concept with an urban vibe. Unfortunately, we're about to close, but please stop by again in the morning for a duck liver mousse brioche breakfast bun. We can eliminate the deviant threat. If this is how you sickos react to a simple slogan, I can't imagine how you'll act once the polls open next year. Keep calling us sickos and see what happens. Shit, dude. Come on, man. She didn't mean it like that. Sorry, we're just, man, but we're in the middle we're just of a artists, situation. Okay? I mean, it's. Sure, it's Medina Man, Castillo. Please move along. Because at least she's not a narcissist. It's just art. Art's not a crime. Ma'am, we asked you to. Right. Think about it. We wouldn't arrest, like, Picasso, you know? No one would. That would be stupid. And so is this. We're sorry, folks. You're free to go. We should be working together, really. There are real criminals out there. You guys come find us if you see anything suspicious out here, okay? Any panhandlers or bag snatchers or deviants? Uh, yeah? Yeah, okay. Whatever you say, officers. Well, I guess that means our buddies will be able to join us later without any... interference. Eli! Hey! We did good on this one. Yeah, I'm fine. No one's probably. I don't even have kids. Got any cash? I don't have any cash on me. Sorry. You and everyone else who walks past. It's okay. At least you didn't just pretend I don't exist. That's something. I'm saving for a winter coat. Spare change? Just five bucks could at least buy me a scarf or something. Come on, give me a hand here. Got any cash? I'm saving. One minute. I'm not ready to move on yet. Let's keep going. Get up. You're blocking the street. Get up now. You hearing me? If you don't move, I'll have you removed and detained.
Eli. Hey. Don't do or say anything, Eli. I know. I mean, I want to. I can't stand just walking past. And I know we have people to protect. Get up. You're blocking the street. Get up now. Go ahead now, Queen of Hearts. See where she went? That guy's Is being conned. I should use my Vox and con him right back. Scamming? Hey, friend, it's okay if you lost track of her. You've still got a one in three chance of guessing it right. And I'll tell you what. If you lose, I'll let you go double or nothing on the next round. Sound good? This is where we're meeting your contact, Theo. Classy join. Looks like my kind of place. Why pick a place with bouncers? Seems a little short-sighted, Theo. This was supposed to be a discreet bar no one ever goes to. Not sure what's going on. Pax, can you check it out? folks on the guest list. We're just having a quick drink. You won't even notice us. If you're not on the list, get lost. They're okay, Marshal. I don't blame them for trying to get in. The place is cooking tonight. How can you not be sick and tired of all the freeloaders and losers trying to get past us? I don't know, man. I like meeting new people. Names Lisa. Lisa who? There's no Lisa on my list. Sorry, there are two ticketed events tonight. Private party and a concert. We're already at capacity. Don't you know who I am? I'm lead singer of the Dustborn. You don't recognize me? We're playing tonight. Oh, yeah. Sure, I, uh, I recognize you, but... Maybe you're famous, but if you're not on the list, you're not getting in. Got it? I'm sorry, Lisa. Big Bear, love your work. But we're full, and your name isn't on the list. Maybe call your agent or something. Figure out what's going on with that. No? Some help? Sure. It's a thankless job, yeah? Being a doorman. Everyone hates you. Talking shite about you behind your back. I get it, I do. I mean, you're only doing your job. Just like the Nazis. Whoa, hey, no. No, no, that's not us. We're not Nazis. Christ, no, we hate the Nazis. That's exactly what I'm saying, mate. You're not like them. You know how to think for yourself, make your own choices. You don't blindly follow commands. So maybe give us a pass. Let us in. Show that you've got a mind of your own. Yeah, yes, yeah. You got it. Go on in. Theo, this is not great. Oh, well, I wish your contact had given us a heads up about, you know. This was obviously not the plan. Is this a birthday party? 
Is that cake? Do you think we could have some? Please stay here while I check if our contact has arrived early. And try not to look conspicuous. No problem. Well, it might be a little problem. Just a little. You know, I saw David in Boys Town the other night. Can you believe it? No shit. David. I'm telling you, he was walking out of a club with some guy. Damn. I never would have guessed. And we can't even say shit about it now that justice is gone. Woke. Right? It's like, just let us make some good-natured jokes about it. But no. Yeah. Hang on. What were you doing in Boys Town? Uh... You know, I saw David in Boys Town. So how does this whole thing work? It's a contest, right? How are they going to pick a winner? I'm sure they have judges and criteria or whatever. I didn't see any judges. Doesn't mean they're not there. Or maybe whoever the crowd cheers for the loudest is the winner. Wisdom of the masses. Well, there are only a couple bands left. I never would have thought you dummies could pull off a surprise party, but goddamn, I didn't see it coming. And the cake is actually good tastes way better than it looks. David made that cake. He's been taking cooking classes in Logan Square, you know. Classic David. That motherfucker is the talk of the town lately. I need to thank him. E excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, We'd sir. like to... Hey, you friends of Sharon. We heard her friends are running late. Are you them? Hey, did you send out those invites to the 7th Precinct? Like I asked you to? Of course I did, but good luck getting anyone from the 7th to show them, am I right? No kidding. Those Inglewood guys never give us the time of day. They've got some neat gear, though. Not us. We don't know Sharon. We're just here you for- You band? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> how did you know that? Oh, so you're here for the Battle of the Bands. Better hurry, show's almost over. <clears throat> Come on, uh, I'll show you to the green room. Where's your contact? Are we going to make our meeting? It's early. They won't be here for another hour or so. Let's just play our set and then- We're missing our drummer. Playing with outside. I've observed you all playing many times. I can pitch in. Maybe not as a drummer, but I will contribute. We have a bigger problem. Are you guys seriously drunk right now? When did you even have time to get drunk? <laughs> wow, you know, people are so stupid. They just leave drinks lying around unsupervised. It's true. See? Oh, can I have one? We can't go on stage like this. And it feels wrong being here with outside. This mission wouldn't have happened without her. We wouldn't have gotten this far if she hadn't come along. Why couldn't she see that this wasn't just about her or our feelings about each other? It's about something bigger. When did this happen, kid? It was supposed to be just the three of us getting the hell out of America. And now I'm shepherding a group of fugitives, including a kid and a robot, and playing a concert in Chicago. Sure, we'll be fine. We don't have to win this, we just have to get through it. But this wasn't the way things were supposed to go. This was never the plan. We'll just have to get through it and stay focused on the mission. This might not be ideal, but Theo's contacts have gotten us through worse. Who decided to make bread in the carbonated water anyway? I don't know. Okay, you need to get it together. Come on, Pax. They're just having some fun. 
Everything's been so dire since Sai left. You could let off some steam too. I don't need to. Is this really a good time for a toast, Eli? Yes. To Sai and to friends lost to the road. May Bitu Man watch over them all. So thoughtful, Eli. It's very, it's very thoughtful, Eli. Sai would really appreciate that. I figured she would. I think Pax is giving us the... Oh. I think Pax is giving us the silent treatment. Guys, we need to prepare for the concert. This is how a rock band prepares for concert packs. I'm always at my most prepared when I'm drunk. Does that also apply to riding your bike? Of course not. I never drink and drive. I'm talking about performing. That sounds scary. I know she's the strong and silent type. Yeah. And you, do you know what? She does a mean silent treatment. I would know. This is really freaking me out. Does she want us to stop drinking? She does. She does. And if we stop drinking, she'll stop whatever that is? I hope so. Fine. You win, Pax. I'm done. I don't know. I don't know. Who decided to conflate red wine with the blood of Christ? You know? That'd be the Catholic Church, mate. I know you like a good party, but I expected you to take this a little more seriously. I haven't had a decent drink in ages, love. Not that as it may. Who talks like that? You. You do. And you need to get it together before we go on stage. I'm perfectly together. I'm the togetherest I've ever been. Come on, Gnome. I need your help getting us through the show. You're lucky I've had a couple, or else I might find this a bit cloying. But sure, I'll help. That'd be the Catholic Church, mate. Damn. I could go for some blood of Christ right now, switch it up. You okay? You look a bit jittery. This is uncharted territory for me, and I'm pushing myself beyond my programming. No matter how it goes out there, I'll have experienced something new and grown as a person. However, I'll admit that I may look quite ridiculous being the triangle player for a punk rock band. Do you think we're ready? The crew's half drunk, but so's every other band out there. I'm honestly more worried about not having Sai on stage with us. We've never played without her. We should probably rehearse while we can. I just hope everyone enjoys themselves without enjoying themselves too much. You're right. The better they feel, the less likely it is for something to go terribly wrong. You guys ready to go on stage? You guys ready to go on stage? We're ready. Next up on stage is the new band. So why don't y'all give them a warm Badlands welcome? Give it up for the Death Ball!
Yes, my band, y'all. Dust Board, the reigning champions of the battle. Please form a single line for autographs. I don't think we Listen should. Listen up, y'all. We'll be signing napkins, flyers, and clothing only. No body parts, please. Please, no. Well, some body parts. Maybe. We're here to meet someone. We need to lay low and... Barkeep? Shots. And open up a tab for us. Eli! I thought you'd gotten all the drinking out of your system. We need to be sober and alert when our contact arrives. Hey, yo, I got them for us on the house. Only the best for my superstars. Now this is just getting out of hand. Is that Blue Creek whiskey you got there? You betcha. Well, uh, one drink couldn't hurt. It's all about confidence. You gotta believe in yourself. $50 says he doesn't make it. I'm sorry, Eli, but it's a tough shot. Oh, come on, I can make this shot in my sleep. But 50 bucks, he makes it with his eyes closed. Have you played billiards before, Ziggy? Excuse me? No, I haven't played pool before. Neither of you have any money. Okay, just gotta line this up. Hit hard. No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Shit! Ziggy, I believe you need to pay up, as they say. Once again, no one has any money to sign. May our roads converge again in the future, and may we all find our way to personal and political freedom in the days to come. Intense cheers, mate. To sigh. To sigh. Oh, wow. There you are, <laughs> the woman of the hour. The Pax of the hour. Power. Man, I dreamt about this as a boy. On tour with all my best friends, playing for adoring crowds. But then I think about Sai out there on her own. I should have been a better friend to me. To everyone. To you, Pax. Cheers to, to you. that, bud. Shh, this is the good part. Come on now. Sing along if you know what I mean There are good ways to cry Sharon! Death to justice. Uh, he didn't mean that. Who gives a shit? I'm retiring, bitches. <coughs> hey, my husband and I saw you from across the bar, and we'd love to buy you a drink. You and your husband? Uh... Okay. uh did someone... Max! Sure, no one put her up to this. Oh, he'd love to get a drink with you. Actually, we both would. If you have room for a fourth. Right, Theo? I, uh. Uh, I, uh. Oh, oh. Did, did you hear that? I, I think Ziggy's calling. Oh, that's too bad. Leo always loves the shy ones. I. I don't know. I've never done this before. It's time for everything, CT. You got this. Woo! But yeah! Yes, sick moves. And that's when I realized that I'm not just a nanny or a caretaker or Justice's facsimile of a domestic woman. I'm more than that. I'm a conduit for the universe. I'm a synthesis of the most human traits and the most robotic ones. And a being like that transcends gender. I feel, simply put, beyond it. What the fuck? Oh, Ziggy, I was trying to have a moment here. You know what? You've, like, inspired me. 
Maybe I should do some soul searching too. You know what? Actually, we all. Soul searching. Is he? Oh, I think he loves soul searching. Anyway, anyway, cheers, cheers to you, cause you. <sighs> Thank you, Ziggy. That's very kind. <laughs> oh. No, Pax, Pax, there you are. I love you guys. Look at us! Look at where we are now! We're out in the real world! We're, we're having so much fun! And we're helping each other! Really helping! You know, just one big happy family! Or I guess we would be if Sai was still here. But you know what? Don't worry, Pax. 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 It's okay. It's okay. She'll come back. I hope she does. She needs us. You know, like we need each other. Don't we? We need each other. Oh god. Oh god. Hey Z, uh, what you said earlier. Did you wanna unpack that further or No, I don't <coughs> I don't need to pack it on further packs. I need to <coughs> I need to get this out of my system. Theo, I, I could use some help in here. Oh, uh, we've got to get you cleaned up. No, no, Theo, wait, I don't want you to see me like this. You must be, you must be so disappointed in me. Don't worry, we've all been there. I'll get some water. It'll all be okay. Am I improving? Can't improve on perfection, CT. Ziggy, you're looking better. Hey, what can I say? The show must go on. I just got the message. The meeting is not happening. What? Why? Look around. Would you risk meeting here tonight? The bartender just gave me a note. Code. It translates to Rotown Noon. Address on Concord Avenue. So, Detroit. Great. Let's no! go. No! Pax, no, no! Stop it, stop! So we're good! We are fine! Okay, let's stay! Let's just stay, please. Leaving, it sounds like a smart idea, Pax. But they haven't even turned on the ugly lights yet. Uh, where's Gnome? Uh, I think. Where's Gnome? Where's Gnome? Oh, yeah, I think they went to pee. Or poo, the poo, the poo, <laughs> what's it called? Toilet. <laughs> oh, maybe they, uh, <laughs> maybe, where is... I'll get them to the train. Pax, can you follow with Nome? I have a feeling we'll catch up. Yeah, but don't get in another fight, okay? Like, not without me. Pax Come is on. Good. She can go another, what, 20 minutes without an argument? Easy. Let's go. And please, remember the buddy system. No, we need to go. I'm kind of in the middle of something, Pax. You know, before I was a bartender, I was in a band. No tours, but we, were, we weren't half bad. We weren't at your level, of course. You guys have a real future. A band, huh? We'll have to tell me all about it. Sure. Good thing the crowd's thinning out. I've got time to talk. Love to hear it. What was your band called? Well, weren't we called? You know how it is with that much bands. What was our first name? Gaffin. 
Gafferty. That's right, Gafferty. After that, we were Rocco's bitches. <laughs> but our new drummer got pissy about it. Hated abstract expressionism. So then we were the Chicago fax machines. Inspired. After that, it was bad bartenders. Our career paths had all converged at that point. Then we were impounded Congress. That name stuck for a few months, actually, before we reverted to Gaffetin. Next up was Sick Mung Beans. Then we were the Bebop fangirls. I'm sorry, but... I'll be with you in a second. Underwater pencils came after that. Not our best work. And then we were the communist savages. Just, I, I know it's a bit too edgy, but it was a different time. Uh, okay, okay, I get it. I need a drink. Would you mind? Oh, yeah, sure. Pack, stop fucking hovering. What do you want? You're jealous. That it? Or is this just about doing your job? Like usual. Well, uh, oh, I'm supposed to be jealous of Magnum PI over there. You're really that insecure. Who the hell is insecure? Magnum? I just know you don't normally go for men like him. I'm trying to get over you, all right? It hasn't been easy, and you refuse to make it any easier. You're drunk, no. But I'm not wrong. You string me along for years. Keep me around to clean up your messes. You can't deny you just use me when it's convenient. Let's not pretend this was a one-way street norm. You've benefited equally from our dysfunctional relationship. What does that mean? No, really, what does that mean? Don't say something like that and then just give me the silent treatment. Come on, give it to me. How many times did we mess with people because we thought it was amusing? I'd set them up, you knock them down, antagonize, pacify, rile up, gaslight. It's practically compulsive. And you loved it, Pax. You're as guilty as me. Sick as it was, it brought us together. So now what? You need me to repent for my crimes. You need to change. Maybe we both do, but I don't claim to help people with my box. Sorry, love. I couldn't hear you over the hypocrisy. I've done what I've had to do to survive. We would both be dead if I hadn't, yet you're acting like I'm some sort of villain. Maybe I have exploited my abilities at the cost of some feelings here and there, but it's what we do, Pax. It's what we've always done. I get knocked daily for convincing the crew to do things. People treat me like a monster for doing what I have to do. But no one looks at you like that. How could anything about you be offensive, this, this posh slacker who reeks of trust funds and boarding school? You love being the fixer who cleans up my messes. Everyone will always let you off the hook for what you do know. I don't have that luxury. Christ, Pax. Let's go. Theo's waiting. Right. So. We're probably too late. Let's just check this place out. Maybe. Oh, excuse Hold us. Hold up. We know you. Sorry, officers. No autographs. I wasn't talking to you. Yes, we do know you. Boulder, Colorado, a couple of days ago. You were traveling on a bus. And carrying a plant. The motel, right. <laughs> How Mind are you? Mind telling us what you were doing there and why you didn't stick around after the explosion? Kim, there's no need for an interrogation. 
I'm Praetor Walker. This is Prefect Kim. I apologize. I'm not good with names. What was... Where was this one at the time? This one? Were you there? I don't like being referred to as either this one, that one, or it. I'm a person... They were taking care of some errands. Huh. Glad to hear it, given the motel went up in flames. Me too, officer. Me too. Only problem is, you told us a very different story at the motel. I'm sure the dramatic events may have clouded your memory, but maybe... So, no. There's no problem here, officers. Wrong mans. We're all cool. We're just normal men. We're just innocent men. Sure, we're cool, but we still need some answers. Okay. Why were you at the motel, minutes before it went up in flames? With a potted plant, for some reason. I was gardening, and I was about to replant the plant. How thoughtful. In October? Well, I think that's all. Do you have any more questions, Prefect? Yeah. See, first off, that motel was front to a terrorist opera. Also, did you and your crew make a stop at a Rocky Mountains tourist attraction earlier in the day? Two eyewitnesses, tourists from South Dakota, reported seeing a black woman with a bat matching your description attacking a squad of justice officers. And now you're here, where we've been reliably informed there was a clandestine meeting between a known terrorist organization and a team of escaped criminals from Pacifica. Some of whom are reported to be deviants. Pax, run! Hey, where's the fire? We're... someone's after us. They think they can hassle Lisa. The go- Where are you going? Sorry, gotta catch a train, mate. Don't just stay there, stop them! Go, don't end up like us! I'm the city itself. The buzzing neon. The faceless voice. The sudden noise. The music bringing people. Sacrificed himself for us, but why? I spoke to him, told him we were. I guess he hated justice even more than we do. We need to disembark at the next station. And we need to drive through the night to get as far away from Chicago as possible and make our meeting in Detroit tomorrow. Justice knows who we are. They know about the bus. They're attacking the weave. No more mistakes. No more screw-ups. No more drinking. Everything's changed. This mission's on the line, and I won't let it all go to hell. 